Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back. Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and I want to make a quick video kind of going through the auto bid strategies versus manual bid strategy. Um, I, get, I keep getting a lot of questions about whether to use auto bids or manual CPC and uh, the short answer is you need to test both and, and I, honestly that's what I would do. So if we go into one of our campaigns, we go over to settings, and we go into bidding. We can see our bidding here. We set up this campaign with manual CPC. If I'm going to be honest, when I start out most campaigns, I use maximize clicks bidding strategy. And I like Google's like learning algorithm kind of do all that heavy lifting for me. Now, one thing to understand. So basically, real quick, what this what this is, is over here. You can see AdWords automatically sets your bids to help get as many clicks as possible within your budget. All right. So if your budget is $50 a day, Google's going to use its learning algorithm and every single time uh, one of your keywords is searched and the auction happens, they're going to use they're going to go the bat for you and try and get you that click no matter what. All right? And they're going to adjust the bids to do that. The only thing you need to do when using maximize clicks, which I highly recommend is setting a maximum CPC bid limit. You can always start low like, you know, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, whatever and raise it incrementally to get more impression share if your impression share is low because if you don't have anything set here, they're going to go crazy. And um, they're going to uh, bid, you know, $70 on a $15 keyword. I've seen it happen before. I know it sounds wild, but it does happen. So this will mitigate that damage for you. If you're using Maximize Clicks, it's a great strategy to use. And, I mean, the difference is manual CPC, you're just setting. Let's go into keywords. So we have manual on this count right now. So we just set, like, 1532 is our ad group level yeah they're all 1532 so if you go into an ad group all the keywords are 1532 we're telling Google the max cost per click we want to spend is 1532 all right so that's what we're going to bat with at every auction when you have it set on an auto bid strategy which I will show you in a second I'll show you what it looks like you're giving them more free reign so if we set maximize clicks we tell them we don't want to pay more than you know sixteen eighty seven per click. Save. If we go back to ad groups now, you'll see it's on auto. Same with in here. Now when this if this campaign was running, these bids would all be different. Alright? Because Google's gonna go through each keyword, and whenever that keyword is searched and the auction happens, it's gonna decide what to bid to get you that click. It's gonna do everything it can to get you that click. All right, it's going to use all of its learning, its learning algorithm, and everything, machine learning, everything it has in its bag of tricks. It's going to use to try and get you that click because they want you to spend your budget. All right, that's why it's called maximize clicks. All right, they're going to try and get you the most clicks possible within your daily budget. And I have seen cheaper leads come out of using maximize clicks than I have from manual CPC, but I've also seen higher. I mean, it depends really. I mean, we have. We have a few clients who um, only use maximize clicks and they get really cheap leads versus when we use manual form they were like like three or four bucks higher um, cost per lead so there is no definitive answer I can't give you one I can tell you that you should test it you should test your campaign and I and don't just test it for two days and then throw your hands in the air and say it doesn't work all right because maximize clicks bidding strategy or any of the auto bidding strategies for that fact they take like at least three to five days to ramp up and get going. So if you're going to test an auto bid strategy, make sure you test it for, I would test it 30 days. I'd let it run 30 days and then assess it, but minimum 14 days. Let it run two weeks and test it um, before you decide to cut it loose or change it. All right. So maximize clicks is probably the most common one that I've seen um, used. Also, you can do target CPA. And you basically just set your target. What you, you're telling Google what you want to get leads for. So if it's roofing, let's say 30, you want $35 leads, <clears throat> you're telling Google, do bid whatever you can. I don't really care, but I want the leads at $35 or around that area. All right. So that's that's basically how that works, target CPA. And I'm not going to go through all of these because I've already made several videos on walking through each one. But the two, I should say three. The two no, the two best auto bid strategies I would recommend would be target CPA and maximize clicks if you're just getting uh getting out of the gate. But target CPA you shouldn't be using unless you already have conversion data. So if you're 
if you're running if you had a campaign running you have 30 to 90 days worth of conversion data then I would try target CPA all right if it's a new campaign with nothing I would try maximize clicks let it run for like I said a minimum 14 days try and get 30 days if you can and then obviously you got to run manual CPC too and test which one uh, is working better for you. So that's that's pretty much it. All right. If you have any questions about auto bidding versus manual CPC, drop them in the comment section below this video. I'll help you out. And um, besides that, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to our channel. We're dropping content daily now, so we've got a lot of cool stuff coming out. And check out the links in the description.